Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video for Friday morning, the 4th of January. Uh, Cold out there this morning, but uh, the next big rain event probably about the middle of next week. And uh, potential for really cold air at mid-month? Hmm. All right, let's talk about it. We'll start with some of the Skycam shots around the network. Early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m., that's our Tuscaloosa Skycam. Most everybody in the 20s. Here's a look at downtown Clanton. That's the Clanton City Hall. And we'll cross the state line. That's our Sky Cam in Columbus, Mississippi, where they are cold as well. Pretty interesting flow around the nation. A lot of uh, waves involved. One over uh, Missouri, a big one over New Mexico. Produced a huge snowstorm last night out there in West Texas. But around here, things are dry. And we are starting out this day cold. It's cold as 23 in Haleyville. Uh, at 5 o'clock, the coldest spots I found were uh, Black Creek and Valley Head at 21. Uh, but we'll warm up to near 50 today. And around the nation, you just can't get away from this cold air. I mean, you have to go down to Miami, which is good for Alabama fans. That is the one warm spot in the whole country. And again, for the uh, BCS National Championship game Monday night, we're projecting low 70s at kickoff with just a chance of a passing shower Uh, Rain should not be a a super big deal. Here's the uh, watch warning map. All the snow in the nation over West Texas, over into the Texas Hill Country. They had to close down Interstate 10 last night. Out around uh, Fort Stockton for uh, heavy snow. That will be winding down later today. Here's the rain over the next seven days. Uh, This is valid through Friday morning of next week. Numbers are coming up. Uh, Mounts here, one to one and a half inches. That would be with that midweek system. And the confidence is high. We'll have a good rain event, but the timing is still questionable. Let's get in there and take a look. A lot to talk about here. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, the 06Z run, valid at noon today. You see the big upper low over New Mexico, and uh, down below that, the snowstorm out there is starting to wind down. But for us... The day today should be dry and not as cold as recent days. We've had a really hard time, you know, getting out of the low and mid 40s. Uh, the models are showing low 50s today. We'll we'll say 50 and we'll keep our fingers crossed. But you know, the snowpack north of us has a lot to do with the cold air. It, it really does make a big difference. So, partly sunny, near 50 today. Tomorrow, the feature that was over New Mexico is lifting out, and uh, that could bring a few snowflakes to Missouri and Arkansas. And it might bring a sprinkle here, but I don't think much at all. And then Sunday looks dry with the rain down in the Gulf. Uh, We'll check the high-resolution RPM. This is uh, tomorrow at 5 o'clock Central Time, and you can see a couple of green spots on there. It's just south of here. And we mentioned some chance of scattered light rain, but I just don't think it'll be a big problem. You know, we have a, a bowl game in Birmingham tomorrow. Uh, Ole Miss and Pitt in the BBVA Compass Bowl. Probably cloudy-ish, uh, you know, low 50s during the game, and, and rain not out of the question, but certainly not likely. And there's Sunday at noon uh, we're dry. This got snow flurries up over Tennessee. Some light snow for Nashville. Be fun to see if that verifies. Then uh, Monday of next week looks uh, dry, seasonal. We'll start the day in the 20s. The high should be in the uh, low to mid 50s. Oh, but Tuesday, look at that big upper feature over Texas. Down below that, a surface low not too far from Houston. Big soaking rain event for East Texas. In Louisiana, this is Tuesday night at midnight. The rain moves in here. The surface low at Shreveport. And Wednesday at midday, the rain is moving through East Alabama. As the surface low is up there near Louisville. So again, the GFS is considerably faster than the European, which I'll show you in just a minute. But it's got the big rains Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday morning. Uh, Good news, this is the instability off the GFS at uh, midnight Tuesday night in the middle of all of that, and there's no surface-based instability. I mean, none here. So severe weather should not be a problem. 
And then Thursday of next week, we are uh, dry and seasonal. 50s and 30s and the same thing on Friday. But let's check the European. This is uh, valid Wednesday evening at 6 o'clock. Now, remember, you know, the GFS has the rain out of here. The European showing the rain just moving in here Wednesday evening with a surface low along the Red River around Lake Texoma. Again, that's a big rain event there. And uh, then Thursday morning at 6 o'clock, that's when the heaviest rain is falling here. And again, severe weather not likely. There's no instability involved with this. And then uh, uh, Friday, we're dry. So we'll tend to side with the slower European, but we'll certainly just mention a good chance of rain on Wednesday and Thursday, and we'll fine-tune that as we get closer. Hopefully, there'll be better clarity over the weekend. All right, what about those mid-month cold shots? Uh, let's take a look. This is January 12th. This is Saturday, a week from tomorrow. Big trough out to the west, and that's suggesting a big snow event for Kansas City and Des Moines and Omaha with uh, rain down to the south. Then on Sunday the 13th, big rain event here. And look at the snow changeover on the backside of that up in Tennessee, maybe northwest Alabama. And that's, you know, typically, you know, the changeover on the backside of a departing storm. That's not going to put a big snow down. You might get a dusting somewhere. And then on uh, Monday the 14th, it's not that cold. I mean, it's cold, but that's not the big cold shot that we're looking at. Thought we'd quickly check the uh, European. This is Saturday the 12th, and it's in pretty good agreement. It's got a big batch of rain coming in here. And then on uh, Sunday the 14th, it turns sharply colder. It's much colder than the GFS, and I think that's right. But uh, this is the big cold dump the Arctic blast, if you will, that everybody's talking about. This is the, uh, uh, let's see, the 16th of January, uh, Wednesday the 16th, uh, ridge in the west, big trough in the east, and look at that. Talk about cold air advection. That makes me cold looking at that thing. The, uh, goodness, the, the isobars are packed perpendicular to the thickness lines, uh, 540 line down to the Gulf Coast. And on the 19th, that the big old 1040 high is over Nashville. And look at the, the temperatures coming off that. Uh, again, this is valid on January 19th. You see those you know lighter shades north of us. Those are sub-zero readings. And that, that's suggesting lows below zero down into Bristol and Knoxville, Tennessee, with lows down in here in the single digits over the Tennessee Valley. Woo, boy. And there's been some very good consistency in the idea of this. So just fair warning, it might get awfully cold around here at mid-month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. Don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Who's got time to listen to boring radio shows? If you're going to listen to something, listen to something good, like eavesdrop. My favorite thing about Christmas is not the presents. No. And it's not the million no. Christmas parties. And it's not playing Dirty Santa. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's about relationships. relationships. I, know. I know exactly where you're going it, with that, yeah. It, it just is. It is. And take the time. What if this is your last Christmas yeah. and you never know? Just talking it up. They may use the name Jesus in a terrible way when they hit their thumb with a, you know, <laughs> with, a, with a hammer by accident on right. Saturday afternoon when they're working on their car. But don't bring Jesus into a song and give him a beer. That ain't right. Yeah, hey, I know a few <laughs> of those folks myself. Bama Talk Show. But before we head for the Dome, we got business to take care of at home. So making plans for the throwdown in downtown Atlanta, we'll have to wait until that post-game rammer jammer rings in the postseason for Bama and the offseason for the barn. Auburn unleashed. That magical score that, that Auburn fans remember, 17-16, came out of that game. And Bill Newton was responsible for the, for the chant, punt, Bama, punt. Bill, thank you for joining us. Uh, good afternoon, Adam. I appreciate y'all having me as uh, the first guest on your show. Worldview Matters. And, you know, we've been talking about a number of things. Last couple of times we talked about socialism. We moved from Islam to socialism, and we were going to continue today to do the same thing. But a lot of things have happened in the world in the past 10 days. Uh, it's oh, heated yeah. up again in, in, in Israel. So I thought it would be a good uh, chance for us to talk about some of the things that relate to worldview 
as it relates to the Israeli situation and Egypt and all that's going on in the Middle East. High School Heroes. And the plane goes right through the bl- bridge and doesn't catch on fire. It's tons of stuff, man. Uh, tons of unrealistic stuff, but hey, it was really cool, actually. Warning, any of these shows can be addictive and they are all fun. Listen on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.